Kit Guru is with NZXT at Computex 2024, and behind me we have a history lesson. Starting back in 2005 with a case called Guardian, and I have to confess I never saw Guardian, but I do recall the 2010 Phantom, and I really extra remember the 2014 H440, an innovative case that started to change things in the PC market. Much more recently, we've reviewed in 2022 the H7, and then in 2023 the H6 Flow, and you can see how these cases have evolved. I have not yet reviewed the H7. I do actually have a shipment on the way to me right now that contains the H7, which as you can see bears a certain resemblance to its forerunners. The significant change being in the floor of the case, there's a recess where the fans will sit out of the way. You can also see... Oh, I'm pointing, trying to point through solid metal, that's stupid. You can also see a bulge in the lower part of the case. That's where the power supply sits. We're looking for a sleek and clean finished build. So that system, that case is on the way to me right now, and a review will be coming up fairly soon. And here's a quick look at the H7 stripped down in black, inky blackness, which looks terrible on video, I imagine. That's why I've asked for a white sample for review. The F-Series fans are also new, and again, I have some of these on the way to me right now. The idea is, it's a unibody design. Oh, they're fixed down with sticky tape. So these three 120s, making a 360 unit, only have mounting screws at the ends. This is solid, makes it much quicker for system builders to install, and also should reduce complexity. And look, a single ribbon cable that does the whole job. In fact, if we go back to that black H7, we can show you something about that. The connector on the F-Series design is this new IQ cable. But you can use a dongle. And that dongle will allow you to connect to your motherboard with conventional RGB and PWM connectors. Or you can connect to the original NZXT control unit. And here is a look at the new NZXT control unit. There it is. In appearance, it looks very similar to the previous control unit, but we're told it's been significantly upgraded. Again, we'll tell you more after our review. So back to the F-Series fans. We have three on 20s making a 360, two on 40s making a 280, and two on 20s making a 240. And they are available in both white and black. If for some reason you can't stand RGB, and well, that might be a thing, F120P and 140P, F120Q and F140Q. And then to the right of those, a C1500 watt power supply, platinum rated, expensive. The price is the best part of 400 bucks. I imagine Alan will be reviewing that in the near future. I hope I have one of those coming to me. I have previous experience with the C-Series gold power supplies. They're perfectly fine. But if I have the choice, I'll always go for platinum. And here we have a built-out example of the H7 Flow RGB, naturally packed out with NZXT components. It is worth pointing out, the cables have extensions on, so the bits of cables you can see are actually third-party rather than NZXT, but pretty much everything else in the system, apart from obviously the motherboard and graphics card, is NZXT hardware. And if we come around the back of the system, We can see the cable management is neat and tidy, but there's quite a lot of extra cabling. So for example, power supply comes up to this connector here, and then we have extension. So there's extra cabling, but despite that, it's tucked away neatly and tidily. And we're signing off from NZXT at Computex 2024 in front of a streaming setup. This is Kit Guru at Computex 2024. Remember, kitguru.net on the web, like, subscribe, and thumbs up. And yes, we do TikTok.